Welcome my friends to another video Omega Bowen here with a quick news update Now, first thing for before I begin this update is that this video won't have any subtitles I want to try something new, I want to try to speak English as clearly as possible I know my uh, uh, accent is pretty bad and my English is poor but please, I just don't I am not in the mood to put some titles in the video. Anyway, whatever. Now, do you remember, let's say, two years ago when Kodaka left Spike Chunsoft and he was going to do the whole 2Q game thing, right? Do you remember that? Do you remember that there was four projects that they were working on? Um, <clears throat> do you remember there were four projects? Project 1, um, the, a game using the Danganronpa designs, again with Kodaka and Uchikochi joint scenario, Limi X Despair, which I still think is a possible Danganronpa game, who knows. Then the second project was an anime, Everyone is a Bellam. Do you remember that? It's an anime that is using the Danganronpa designs. You can see it clearly here. Let's see if I can put the picture. There we go. Okay, here the picture. You can see clearly it is the Danganronpa designs. Me personally, I was actually pretty interested in this because first things first, this is, let's see here, that's the video that I did last year. This is an anime collaboration with Studio Pierrot. The original author is Kodaka and the character design is Komasuzaki, which is the person that does the character design for, for Danganronpa. Um, Kodaka was gonna write this or wrote this and the designs were the Danganronpa designs. It's not Danganronpa but using the same designs of the character and it is by Kodaka. I actually, I actually was looking forward to this. Uh, and you can see here the designs. Um, you know, we have the main character, I think, or whatever. It has a robot arm, this girl here, this lab lady, this dude over here. Um, this guy over here with a knife and whatever. You remember, you remember this. Everybody is a villain. Well, it happens that today we actually got a trailer for it. Not only that, but a new picture. Oh boy, I, I am pretty hyped. I hope you guys are too. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh. Wait, what happened here? Well, it seems that everybody is a villain decided to drop the Danganronpa designs in order to give us some more generic anime designs, sadly. Oh. And the only reason I was looking forward to this was because of the Danganronpa designs and because it was by Kodaka. I still think it's by Kodaka, but it's no longer using the Danganronpa designs, sadly. Um, Okay, so yeah, you can see they did some changes. They did some trio changes here, as you can see. Um, it's kind of hard to put the bot, bot, bot pictures in the stream, but let's see. First thing first. So, the cool nurse over here, I guess she's now a slot. You can see her freaking... What is that? You can see everything there. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you can see everything there. Look at that. But she's a slut now, I guess. And she has pink hair. She's no longer... She don't. She no longer looks like... Whatever it was. She looked cool. Not sure what happened there. Well, um, this one over here... Went from looking like this... To a little design change with black shorter hair. The real she kind of reminds me of Chiaki, but it's not the Danganronpa by the time. Um, the cool guy with white hair now looks like... Used to look like this, and he has a nice um. Well, they just changed the designs. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. They changed the designs. I'm gonna be leaving the link to the trailer in my in my description of the video, so you guys can see that um, the trailer is here. I'm not I'm not gonna play it because I don't want to get strike and stuff. But yeah, uh, it looks generic now. So using the Persona 4 Golden Animation, <laughs> oh, no, 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 please no, you remember that, if that was not very good. Okay, um, let's see here, we can, we can show you guys a little of it. Um, yeah, boobs, pretty much, 
she's the fan service caster. She, I guess they need a fan service caster. They drop the thing and rope of the signs and they and they turn this lady over here into a fan service caster, I guess. Into a slot now. And don't get me wrong, I like slots. So no, I'm not hitting the slots. Don't get me wrong. But just saying, you know. Uh, maybe we still be good, you know. It is supposed to be by Kodaka, right? Um, you're gonna still write this, I hope. I don't know if he's still writing this, but I'm very disappointed that it dropped the Danganronpa designs. Like, you know, those designs do work for anime. We got the Danganronpa 3 anime. We got the Danganronpa 1 anime. I'm saying Danganronpa ROM. I should be saying Danganronpa. You know, uh, let's see Kodaka. Yeah, it's still by 2Q Games. Um, Kodaka probably around here somewhere. I don't know his Japanese name. I don't know how to spell the name in Japanese, so I do apologize for that. But yeah, you were looking forward to this anime, to this anime by Kodaka. Well, they no, they are no longer using the Dangan Rompa designs. They're using a more generic design, which well, it's not bad. I mean, Kodaka is the one writing this so it should still be good I just, I just disappointed I really wanted to see those designs I think that the signs are really really good they're very unique and to drop that and go for a more generic design of characters it's just a little weird you know and you, let's see if we can see see here it doesn't look bad don't get me wrong don't, don't get me wrong it doesn't look bad also I'm still sick so sorry about that um, so yeah, I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below, you know, do you think this was a good mood? Are you still hyped for this? I mean, me personally, I don't really, I'm not really that hyped. I remember, uh, you can still watch my original video about it. <clears throat> when they did the, the anime collaboration, they were gonna do the anime collaboration with Studio Piero, which I still think is the same studio, but why drop the designs? That is what I'm asking. Why drop the design? The signs would have given that would have given it that extra edge over all the anime because you don't see the Daniel Ropa designs in anime too much. They're unique designs. It's just like Akira Toriyama. When you see that Dragon Ball, you know it's Dragon Ball because of the designs. Not much Dragon Ball Super. They kinda change it to more generic now. But the old ones, you know what it is. So I was expecting that with this anime. So I'm a little disappointed with that. Especially the the choices for some of the character designs. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's hot, but I don't know man. I just I'm just in love with the Danganropa designs, you know? I think those designs work. I think she looked way better like this, but whatever man. You have to watch the anime. You have to watch it to be able to to be able to know if it is good or not, but you know, it's still being done by Kodaka, hopefully, and it's still by 2Q Games, so who knows? Who knows? I hope this does not mean that this over here, that limit X despair here, is also changing character designs. I really, for the love of God, hope, hope not. But anyway, again, in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think this was a this was a good choice for them to drop the designs? Are you still high for this? Tell me, tell me. Anyway, I know my English is bad. I ha I'm stuffy. I'm dealing with my allergies now. My English is somehow even worse. But you know. Anyway, this is Omega Ball. We'll see you guys in the next news update. Bye.